Hello and welcome comrade. I'm Get Out and this is tutorial 12 for workers and resources Soviet Republic. It is time to get wet today as we are learning about ships and containers. If you want to find the previous tutorials the link with the playlist is in the description of the video. Build a ship dock. Ship docks behave the same way as road or rail vehicle depots. You can purchase ships there and then you can set up a schedule for them. Ship docks is where we buy store vehicles for the water, which we call ships. <laughs> this is a tutorial to the English language. <laughs> Build a passenger harbor. Harbors need to be built partially in water and partially in land. Well, like, yeah, real life. Small. What is this? Small, medium. Uh, so we are building medium. Small. No. Passenger harbor, small, small. Both small. Medium. Both medium. Okay, we're building a small one, I guess. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. First of all, how does the dock look? Uh, pretty boring, I would say. Right? It's just some dock. It's just a dock. That's it. And this building is not much fun to look at. Oh, well, I guess we will be delivering stuff here. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, what about the harbor? Yeah, the harbor is nothing special neither. Well, at least has a uh, fuel input for the ship's fuel. Which is good, good to see. Oof, what the hell? Okay. Build a second passenger harbor. Sometimes you will have to straighten the line between water and land before you can place a harbor. Eh, uh, what? Okay. Ah, I think I know what he meant. Like, we can do it with the... Uh... No, I, I don't know what he meant. Purchase a passenger ship. Click on the ship dock and purchase a passenger ship. Ship dock. Moskvich. Moskvich was a car, not a ship. 10 knots, 180 tons, 110 kilowatts. What? Ah, it's kilowatts, of course. Oh my goodness. It's 110 kilowatts. <laughs> uh... Width 5 meters, 5 meters, length 27. Okay, 147 passengers. Oh, I mean, 147 passengers in a ship that small? I get it, I guess. <laughs> Select the first stop. So it's going to be from harbor to harbor, of course. And then the next stop. Uh huh. And then we start it. Good job. I know. Build a harbor for containers. This harbor can store containers or finished vehicles such as personal cars, trucks, or even trains or wagons. Ooh. Harbor for containers and vehicles. That should be big. Oh my god, it is. And it's expensive. Good work, comrade. Wow, now that looks more impressive, right? With these huge cranes, man. I like it. Awesome. Connect the harbor to the train network. Oh, come on, game. Don't fuck with me now. Select the correct... Ah, okay. He wanted the other one. It needs to be electrified. View the container loading facility. This building needs to have workers to operate. They will take resources from connected storages and pack them into containers. Oh, so from the typical storages, you have to have a, this building, which is a container loading facility, which makes complete sense. And then these containers, you can transport to the harbor and process them away. Okay. This one looks... Cool, I guess, as well. How many people? 60 people. What is this? Set container type. Oh, nice, nice. 
We can also choose this. Purchase a flat pet truck. This truck will transport containers from the container loading facility to the container harbor. I'm curious, can you connect them directly? Probably not. Interesting questions, right? Ah, that's the one that we used in one of the previous tutorials. Good job. SKD706. Select the first stop. So it's going to be this and then that. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Oh, let's start it as well. Start. Good job. Come on, go, 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 go. Take containers. Select the first stop for the train. This train will transport brand new locomotives and wagons from the railway production line to the container harbor. Okay. So this guy is going to do what? Aha. So this is a rail production plant. To here. Okay, let's start it. Perfect work. So uh, as you can see, things are very similar. It's just that you have different production lines. It's very cool. What is this? That's a hospital? No, shopping center. Railware production line. Oh, finished vehicles. Plenty. <laughs> okay, let's see what this guy is going to do. Ah, there they are. What are you going to do? Are you going to attach it to yourself? Oh, you're going to attach a bunch of them to yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Okay, that was max capacity, I guess. Uh, you're probably going to be very slow now, right? Can we limit the amount that he can attach? Stop train. Ignore red signal. Sell vehicle. Change direction. No, I don't think so. It's going to take as much as it wants. That would be a cool thing, because this guy is going to slow everybody else. If someone else is using this uh, line. Can we go faster? Yes, we can. I love how they take uh, turns with the same speed like everything else. Not slowing down. <laughs> Only at the end. Okay, so we are... We delivered everything. So cool. Okay, uh, did we do something with the other setup? Where, where is it? Here. No, uh, we have some clothes. Is this guy bringing the clothes? He is bringing the clothes. Ah, we already have two containers. Where is the containers? I want to see them. Ah, this is the containers. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. I love it. So we have all the locomotives here. Oh, they're expensive, man. Wow, okay. Purchase a ship to transport containers and vehicles. You can transport any other resource as well by purchasing the right ships in the right harbors. What did you... S what? Ah, okay, okay. So we're going to... S <laughs> what he means is that we're going to buy one that transports containers, but you can buy for anything else if you want. Can load vehicles on flatbed. So I guess when, when it has that... Uh, if you see here when I hover over... On the bottom it says can load vehicles on flatbed. I think that means it can carry containers and vehicles. And that uh, goes uh, together for... For road vehicles and rail vehicles as well. Ignatov. Very expensive ship. Not the most expensive, but... Ooh, what is this? Ooh, these tankers are expensive, man. Oh my god, 14,000 tons of oil. Okay. Select the first stop. Okay, so we have to do... Uh, I guess we're going to export to the Soviet uh, countries. Yep. Great work, comrade. Okay, start. Excellent work. So this guy is now going to go and transport everything to the Soviet countries. Build a dry dock to manufacture ships. You can make your own ships by using your workers and resources. Well... No surprises there. This should be a big building as well, I imagine. Ah, it's not that building. Eh, okay. Ah, because it's like, um... Not inside of the sea, but it's here on the... On the beach. Purchase the resources needed for ship manufacturing. You can also use your own resources, as always. Of course. And we have storage here as well, which I don't see where it is, probably inside of the buildings. 
open space we have only steel and I don't see it to be honest. Like that bothers me a little bit when they don't present you everything. And also these guys just disappear into thin air. Did this guy take anything? No, he's still uh, getting here. I'm curious if we're going to see the animation of things being picked up and put into the ship. That would be so, so cool. Buy a ship blueprint in the meantime. Okay, we're buying some blueprint. And now we have to click this button. Click this button. And oh, look how fast we are, man. Holy shit. Like this. Oh my god. Ah! No, we didn't have the animation. They just automatically got transported to the ship. That's fine. Well, we are producing ships, aren't we? Select foreign countries as the only stop for the ship. And this is how we're going to sell it. Beyond the borders. Good job. Do we have to start it? Yes. And I guess we can also just click this button and everything new is going to be transported there. That's all for this tutorial. Good stuff, good stuff. That's all. No, don't want, don't want to start. I want to know where the border is. Is it too far? Ooh, I think it's too far. Where is the map? Ooh, yeah, it's ooh, all the way here. So they're going to take plenty of time to get there, right? For us to see how we sell everything. Curious, does it tell you how much you have on board? Oh yeah, you have 600,000. Wow. Nice. Okay, that was pretty cool. They have, I mean, I think pretty much all of this was um, like that when I last played the game. But a few um, quality of life things have happened for sure. Deliver to customs house. Yeah, deliver it. At least to stop stations. Bro, you just go there, eh? Maybe this guy got produced before we... Ah, we didn't click this. And oh, there you go. That's why. Current vehicle, current production percentage. Did these guys reach something here? No. They are very, very far. Okay, let's get back to our... So now, current production percentage. So now they started slowing down. A production percentage is at what efficiency the plant is working, I imagine. Right? Sixteen thousand workdays. Yeah, so they did they did uh, make it much faster for the uh, examples during the tutorial, I imagine, because here it's that's plenty of work days. And that makes sense, like ships are difficult to produce and require a lot of stuff. Finish vehicles, warehouse import, 41%. Okay, amazing. Awesome. As you know, I love to use ships in my playthroughs, so I'm excited to try this and to, in general, have some ships around going places. What about you? How do you find the ship mechanics in the game? Ask away or share anything you want about this great game in the comment section. Before you go, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Thanks you for, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.